good morning army moms I'm sorry it's been a long time since I posted a video and I promised I was going to have my daughter helping me but it looks like that is not happening now um, she I mean like right now not because she is so super busy she is uh, working a job for a little mom and pop restaurant and so she practically lives there so yeah <laughs> the time she comes home she's fussy so anyway um <clears throat> i thought i would mention some things that i've been reading on my as i tell my kids army facebook um i was looking at some of the comments over christmas and some of the parents were saying have you noticed your soldier came back with an attitude or you know like a different person or something and um so this is what the army will not do for your child they're not going to change them if they went to the military <coughs> excuse me a jerk they're probably going to be a jerk when they come back because you know that's just the way they are i mean some people may be changed but um anyway so yeah it's not going to change them also uh yeah it's just i don't know they might be a little bit more grown up because when my daughter came uh home before christmas i was like "Ooh, so you know how to make a bed now she does her bed the same way she always did because you know home is home she's going to be comfortable pull the covers off and just throw them back up you know that's I didn't, I didn't think just boot camp was going to, uh, I mean, I did think boot camp was going to change a lot of things, but I guess after she's in for a while, maybe she'll, you know, and she's living and she has to keep her stuff up herself, she will change, but, um, anyway, um, <clears throat> also, what we're going through now is the waiting six months before she could go back in she didn't graduate uh, because she got hurt several things were going on and um, she just wasn't getting to train and she felt like the best thing for her to do was not recycle because she was afraid she wouldn't um, she wouldn't heal enough to actually be able to make it through and you know why well, just keep hurting yourself so she's out now she got a job for now um, she's trying to get a job where she can actually work out but with what she's doing right this minute she's she's not been but um, we're going to both start working out hopefully I hope I get to work out with her because I need to shed a few um, but anyway so what you go through now everybody still thinks she's in the military and we're like no she technically is out out um i don't know how the paperwork's read everybody keeps saying well was she discharged and was it a medical i have no idea i, I didn't read her, her paperwork and she didn't tell me so <clears throat> i don't care whatever the problem is <laughs> she is planning on going back in six months but um, right now she needs to uh, still work her back has some issues she has uh, she thought it was her hip but it's actually her back so she's got to learn how to do the right exercises so she can strengthen herself and get back in shape and actually be able to get through it this time so yeah the six month waiting period for her she is uh extremely frustrated being home she hates it now most people after going through what she went through in boot camp would say forget it i'm not going back that's not gonna happen um but for her she said i want to go back i want to go back i want to go back i hate it here I hate it here and I'm kind of glad she does because of all the military has to offer and we live in a very small town and there's nothing here I mean she'd have to go to college to do anything or end up with just some little piddly job like she's got now and that 
would frustrate her to no end. She needs something exciting. She's she's like me. She likes to be out and about, seeing people doing things, not stuck somewhere in an office or just even sometimes inside a building. She's like, no, I want to be out. So uh, that was just a few things. I wanted to go ahead and make another video and get it out there so you know I haven't totally quit making videos. I was trying to think of... Um, <clears throat> another area to talk about <clears throat> excuse me it's morning <clears throat> uh in the meantime i would actually like to be uh, making some videos of uh, like the weather and stuff i actually tried that but it didn't turn out the way i thought i live in the south and i was going to run to walmart and show you all the empty stuff but it didn't happen i don't know why it's weird some storms there's no bread, milk, and there's actually nothing happens. And then there's some where there's stuff left, which is surprising. That's rare, but uh, yeah, so that killed that video. So anyway, here is your, uh, was Army Mom going to be an Army Mom again? So I guess I'm like in transition. Uh, video of the day, if, uh, if I think of uh, another thing um, other than Christmas, and, you know, if you have one that's come home and, and going back, uh, I try to reassure her every day. Just think, just think of it this way. Six months is very short. January is half over. It's the rest of your life. You, I mean, she's 19. Hello. You've got a long time. So just think of it a, a short time and then she'll be back in whatever she wants to do and make it through and then go on with her life and get to move and meet people and learn fun things and do hard things I'm sure but um, anyway just keep encouraging your uh, gonna be soldier before they go in so um, that's all I can say is just just encouraging encouraging as much as you can I know she's just like half here is what I tell her <laughs> she's like that but um, <clears throat> anyway sorry for the throat problem this morning but it's that time of year anyway have a great day and uh, smile sometimes we have problems with that in the winter time but smile be happy God loves you and I will talk again in another video, hopefully uh, a little more put together than this one. <laughs>